Nearly any phone with a camera can be turned into a barcode reader. You can make use of this by adding your contact details or a web page link to your design. The QR code and data matrix barcodes suit best for this purpose. The program also supports a range of other standard barcodes used, for instance, for merchandise or books. For example, let's improve this flyer. We can prevent potential customers of the barber shop from having to rewrite the phone number and address simply by putting it inside a barcode. To add a barcode, just choose its type from the drop-down menu on the toolbar. We're going to use QR code. In order to input your text and set up the properties, you should double-click on the barcode. Let's copy the phone number and address first. The Properties panel has an Edit box where we can paste our text. Some of the settings aren't available now because they apply to other barcode types. What's important is that you must keep barcodes readable to the machine. All these small squares and dashes should be perfectly distinguishable. Look at what we have now. The black and white background mixes with the elements of the barcode. We should place the barcode on a solid contrasting background. If there is any white space in your design, place the barcode there. Just make sure that it won't spoil the design. Since in our flyer, all the empty space is black, we need to create a background behind the barcode. The easiest way is to draw a rectangle over the barcode. Right-click on it and choose Order Send to back. Then move both of them to empty space and align them with the other design elements. One more thing to check is the scale on the properties panel. 100% or more is OK. If it is set to anything less, be careful. Barcode readers may not cope well with too downscaled of a barcode. Well, technically, everything is perfect now but we have messed up the design. To fix this, let's use a red color for the barcode's background. The same red as is used for three other elements around. Not bad, right? That's almost it for this tutorial. Just let me tell you briefly about the other two options for data input in the barcode's properties. We selected value here in order to paste our text directly. Alternatively, we can choose the counter option. It generates sequential numbers for input, like 1, 2, 3, and so on. The program can automatically generate the number when you print several copies of your document. The file option can link your barcode with a file. Just like with the counter, during printing, the program can automatically import text lines from the file and encode them in the barcode. Then, every new printout will have a unique barcode. This lesson has come to an end. We'll see you later.